During my internship at the UN, I was initially intimidated and it reminded me of myself before I came to America. And it was then that I realized that I was here at the UN in New York City and I was actually about to live my dream. And I think that that wouldn't have been possible had it not been for Seton Hall and all the opportunities that I got here. My internship advisor actually played a very important role in me landing these important internships. So my first uh, internship was at the Permanent Mission of India to the UN, which is the highest capacity of Indian representation or delegation in this country. And um, I was very anxious to apply, uh, but it was the director at Seton Hall for internship that who actually convinced me to go ahead and apply. She had faith in me. What I found out was that I was actually up against graduate students from Harvard University, Columbia University, and other Ivy Leagues. Um, so that was another factor that made me more nervous about actually even applying to the internship. I got in and um, I was the only intern who actually was bumped up to the capacity of a, as an Indian delegate and actually got the opportunity to represent India. So my second internship was at US India Chamber of Commerce. And uh, this was something that I actually got through my advisor uh, who recommended me. Uh, for me, it was important to experience bilateral forum because the United Nations was a multilateral forum. And I wanted to see how the politics uh, take place in a completely different sphere especially this one since it was business and economic related. At the Chamber of Commerce, um, I was able to help with uh, Starbucks entry into the Indian market. And uh, this was something that was really important because it was a big economic move uh, in terms of Starbucks uh, entering another Asian country. Um, and for me, it was not just cool, but also an opportunity to witness how a big economic uh, institution employs different strategies. There, there comes a time when you actually do uh, employ what you learn in the classrooms in the real world. The faculty at Seton Hall University is amazing. They taught me to think critically and to perceive things analytically. And this is a skill that I did not have before I came uh, to America. And that is something that I hold most valuable when I go back home because that's what gives me an advantage over my colleagues back home. So the community at Seton Hall University is very open to different religions, uh, different cultures, people from different backgrounds. They are also very respectful towards each other. In fact, they value me being from a different uh, community and actually engage me in dialogue. Each one of my classmates is going ahead uh, to do amazing things. Um, some, many of them have gotten into Ivy Leagues in their respective fields or have landed amazing jobs. And it makes me feel very proud that 20 years down, um, I will have this amazing base of network. I'm a senior now and my next step is to go to graduate school. Um, I have applied to a couple of graduate schools including Harvard and Columbia. And at the moment I have been accepted to and I'm choosing between the University of Oxford and University of Cambridge. And I find myself very lucky to be in this position where I get to choose between these great colleges. I love Seton Hall because it's a very lively place. It's a place that makes you feel like home. And that is something that's important for me because home is very, very far away. Seton Hall has made me into a much more confident person um, and somebody that has faith in herself. It has also given me the different tools and skills that I did not have prior to coming here. And I think it is these opportunities that I received here at Seton Hall that has made me competitive.